Hi, it's Porter Brooks, and I'm back with that killer summertime salsa recipe. You can do any type of version you want on this, but I'm using my great chopper. Now, when you're using a chopper, you want to start with the biggest items first. So in this case, it's going to be onions. I've just got a regular medium white onion, and I've got a quarter to make life a little bit easier. We're going to pop those in. You're just simply going to flip and pull. Let's see, probably five pulls. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see what we got. That is a finely diced onion. Can you believe that? I would have been going through all of these knives, these chopping boards. All right, easy open, as promised. And now I'm going to add my tomatoes. So again, I've quartered everything. You can do a half, depending. Now, what's really important is when you put the big items in, you don't want them to be watery in the end. We have a lot of moisture and juice in the tomato. So I really want a coarse chop on this. Again, let me show you how easy. I'm going to just hold it here. Two fingers. One, two, three. That was it. Four pulls. And now these beautiful, beautiful chilies. I found these at the store. They were on sale. I thought it is absolutely salsa time. I'm going to put a couple of those green chilies. If you want a spicy one, you can use Hatch. These are actually Anaheim's. They're nice and mild. I'm going to do only two pulls because I want that really chunky. I gave you three on that one, didn't I? And now here come the spices. A store-bought taco seasoning. We're going to put that in. A nice healthy pinch of salt. And these are Mexican spices and herbs, which I really like. They usually consist of three things. Cumin, oregano, and some ground-up bay. You can do some chili powder if you like. That's basically it. Always fresh cracked pepper. I say five grinds, no matter what you're doing to start. And here we go. Oh, you know what? Let's give the cilantro just a little trim. Now, some people don't care for cilantro. You can leave it out. And the other thing that I think would work out really great here is just a little bit of green onion. I have those all prepped. So a couple large chunks. Back on with our easy lid. Oh, this is looking good. And it is smelling good. All right, we're going to look for our white dot, see how light that is, and my gripper, turn it, and let's go, three, four, five. There it is, folks, this beautiful salsa made with this fantastic no-plug chopper. Oh, it smells like south of the border. I'm going to serve it in this individual tray. I love doing this. I've got my chips. Each person is going to get their own individual little salsa. And in the meantime, I'm going to seal it up with this perfect lid. And that's it. I'm Porter Brooks. I'll see you next time.